I'm Tita Huy with Follow the Coin. We are the homepage of Digital Currency. Welcome to this week's Bitcoin Roundup. First of all, we want to thank you for continuing to support Follow the Coin and liking our videos. We're back and we're going to be filming feverishly with Bitcoin Roundups, Bit Bites, Bit News, and more. We're happy to be back and we hope you are too. So let's get this show started. We've got quite a bit of news to cover this week with Chain, Blocker.io, Coinbase, Overstock, BitLicense, Blocktrail, BitPogos, and a slew of merchants now accepting Bitcoin. Best of all, the price of Bitcoin has risen again. While the Bitcoin price does still fluctuate between 506 USD and 514 USD throughout the day, it is looking pretty stable at the $506 range as of today. Let's hope that the Bitcoin price stays stable or rises. Fingers crossed. Chain, the blockchain API provider, has raised over $9 million in USD in a new round led by Kosla Ventures, which also includes 500 startups, Pantera Capital, and RRE Ventures. And you know what that means? Interesting blockchain apps are probably just around the corner. It, it's called O.co and they're going to be introducing a new international payment system on September 1st, allowing customers of Overstock to pay with Bitcoin. Are you pro Bitcoin? I know we are. So we're going to join the Reddit community on September 1st and make a purchase on Overstock. Even if it's just $10, we can all come together to make Overstock's first international Bitcoin day a success. Joseph Castillo, the owner of Agora Commodities, which is a gold and silver seller and dealer, is ceasing the use of credit cards as payments and only going to be accepting Bitcoin pretty soon. He sees Bitcoin as a commodity just like gold and silver is, so why not buy and sell with commodities? This would mean direct transactions that happen almost immediately and he gets to reduce fraud. And yes! Have you heard the good news? The BIT license, which was proposed by the NYDFS and their superintendent, Ben Losky, has been extended for an additional 45-day period. So restart that clock from September 5th. Here's to hoping that he and his committee are busy reviewing everyone's comments and helping to make re some revisions symbiotically beneficial to consumers, businesses, and regulators alike. Coinbase has acquired Blocker.io earlier this week, which is a popular block explorer service that parses the Bitcoin blockchain and presents data that is more useful, easier to read, and more helpful for users. We're definitely looking forward to seeing what the implementation of the new technology is going to look like on Coinbase.com. Blocktrail also secured 500,000 euros in funding from Blockcorp. The platform aims to provide information about cryptocurrency transactions by creating dedicated tools for the analysis of network and economic data. Nice! We can't wait to see how things progress with both of these great companies. Do you like Twitch? Now you can Twitch it out with Bitcoin. A week or so ago, Twitch partnered with Zolo to bring over 600 ways to pay for your Twitch Turbo subscription. And bank accounts, gift cards, and Bitcoin is one of the options. Notable merchants that also started accepting Bitcoin this week. 1-800-Flowers so you can buy flowers and gifts for friends and family. Suicide Girls to support alternative models. And Mjur, the popular online meme creation and photo editing tool. Do you Mjur? We do. They have some of the best memes on there. I got an idea. Who doesn't like funny memes? I know. We should totally do a follow the coin giveaway. Tweet or comment with your favorite meme link with your Twitter account username and we'll tip you 50 doge. And even better, we can all sit here and enjoy some great funny content. After all, laughing is both great exercise and really, really good for you. Endorphins! Back to the news. Dish TV is now available and live with their Bitcoin integration. And Bitpagos has partnered with Telecargas, a prepaid mobile phone service provider in Argentina, to launch Ripio, which has enabled over 8,000 convenience stores to offer Bitcoin as a payment option to their customers across the nation in Argentina. And this doesn't even include all of the other great services that Bitpagos is providing in Latin America with Bitcoin. P.S. Are you watching the elections? If you're in the U.S. and curious about which candidates in your state are for Bitcoin, Follow the Coin's very own political pundit, Pat Jack, has a treat just for you. Go check out our website, followthecoin.com, 
and you'll find a complete list of political candidates that are now accepting Bitcoin for their campaign donations. And boy, is that list extensive. Go check it out and support your candidates of choice. See if you like any of them. They need your help. Well, that's it for this week. As always, we hope you'll follow us on Twitter and tweet at us at followthecoin, like us on Facebook, leave a comment with any questions or feedback on the site or in the YouTube comments. And by the way, if you're looking for a fast and easy way to purchase Bitcoins, Dogecoins, and more, check out expresscoin.com. Thanks, guys.